the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Emma. I'm Ferris. And I'm Aubrey Jean and your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, January 17, 2024. Welcome back, Grizzlies. Hopefully you had a restful three-day weekend. And we kick off this week with CCSD Peace Week. Today is focused on peace walks. You remember Martin Luther King led a peaceful march on, on Washington when he fought for civil rights. What important issues would you walk for and bring awareness to? Each day this week, we will focus on another way you could can honor and celebrate a more peaceful world. If you haven't noticed, there are a lot of new faces here at Spring Valley this year. In total, there are 35 new teachers, office staff, and security monitors here on campus. Want to take some time to introduce you to some. Zadius and Mariel introduce us to Miss Palmer. This year at Spring Valley, we have introduced many new teachers, but with such a big community, it is difficult to meet these new faces. My name is Miss Palmer, and I teach Arts and Humanities for ninth grade, and I teach Avid 11. She has also revived the club here on campus. So I am currently the advisor for the mock trial club. Um, it is our first year like restarting the club. Spring Valley has had one in the past, but we are a newer team and we're looking forward to competing in regionals in February. It may be cliche, but like many teachers, the students are what keep her going. Seeing the look on students' faces when they finally understand something or when they make a connection to something previously. Um, I see that a lot in my history classes. I really like that all of the students are super involved, like almost everyone is involved in like a club or a sport, and also how supportive everyone on the staff is. Outside of the classroom, she fills her time with activities just like us. So every Saturday, um, I have a game night with my friends, and we normally end up at like IHOP at like really late at night because we just like to spend time together and we don't want the night to end. We are excited to have Ms. Palmer this year and cannot wait to see her impact at Spring Valley. There are a lot of new teachers and staff so make sure to say hi. Hey Emma, what's going on with clubs today? We have a few clubs meeting today. Do you like anime? Anime club meets today in room 818. Armenian Student Union meets in room 226. ASL club will meet in room 218. Best Buddies meets bi-weekly in room 804. BSU also meets today in room 200. FCCLA will be meeting in Portable 1. Her Club meets in Room 812. IB Council is also meeting today. Mock Trial Club will meet in Room 406, as well as Varsity Quiz in Room 917. Vietnamese Club meets bi-weekly in Room 232. And Writing Club will meet in Room 813. Remember, all clubs start at after school at 2.01 p.m. Hey Grizzlies, did you miss out on last semester's karaoke contest with FOSU? Any singers interested in showing off their talents or wanting to have fun and sing? You should join FOSU. Get excited because this Friday it's now being held in room 216. They're having a karaoke contest with J-Club. They will give out prizes for first, second, and third place winners. Just scan the QR code on the screen to show your interest. The state of Nevada requires all juniors to take the ACT exam, and the testing day is just around the corner. February 27th, and to help juniors get prepared, there's one more ACT boot camp later this month. Scan the QR code now to sign up for the boot camp from January 26th through 28th. They say it helps you increase your score by 3 to 7 points. While the camp usually costs close to $400, it is offered for just $199 for our students with the coupon code GOGRIZZLIES. And if that price is still too much, you can help for paying it. We want you to be prepared, so good luck, juniors. Speaking of preparing for college, attention, juniors and seniors. Have you applied to so Southern Utah University, or do you want to know about their programs? An admission rep will be here on Thursday, January 18th from 1.16 p.m. to 2 p.m. in the library. 
Please come by if you have any questions about applications, the admission process, or financial aid opportunities. Hey Grizzlies, have you bought your yearbook yet? The time to pre-order is running out. We have sold out our book the last two years, so don't miss out on an opportunity to purchase it before it's too late. You can buy your yearbook for $90 at the School Banker or on the Jostens website. <coughs> Seniors, the deadline to purchase a senior advertisement is January 31st. Ads start as low as $85 and are a great opportunity to make sure your favorite photos from the year are included in the book. Buy one for your best friend, significant other, or yourself to highlight all your favorite photos. Senior ads can only be purchased on the Jostens website. Order yours before the January 31st deadline. It's almost time for you to pick your classes for the upcoming year, and we'll be taking time over the next couple of weeks to introduce you to electives you might not have thought of. Here's a look at what taking journalism is all about. The Grizzly Growler is the student-led newspaper of Spring Valley High School. Join journalism and become part of a national award-winning staff. Travel around the country for annual conferences, talk to admin, report and gain access to the funnest high school events, and become part of an experience to remember and unite our student body. Counselors are beginning the process of getting students registered for classes for next year. You will need to have your choices in by the end of this month. The next food distribution event is coming up. Our NJROTC is teaming up once again with the Just One Project to provide much needed food and groceries for the community. The distribution will begin at 8.30 a.m. right here in the Spring Valley parking lot. Getting food during these chilly months is vital and everyone in need is welcome to come out and take part. Hey Ferris, what's going on with sports this week? Uh, Grizzlies, we have uh, lots of sports this week. Today we have wrestling here at Spring Valley against Liberty with JVF5 and Varsity S6. Thursday, we have men's basketball at Arbor View with B team at 3.30, JVF5 and Varsity S6. At home, though, we have our women's Grizzlies basketball team taking on Democracy Prep with B team at 3.30, JVF5 and Varsity at 6.30 to wrap up the day. On Friday, we have our flag football team at Faith Lutheran with JV at 3.30, Varsity at 4.30 and B team at 6. To close it out for the week, we have our women's basketball team playing at Palo Verde with B team at 3.30, JVF5 and Varsity at 6.30. Finally, on Friday, we have bowling at Samstown against Las Vegas at 3. Make sure to catch any of our Grizzly sports team this week. Attention, guys, looking forward to volleyball season. Spring Valley men's volleyball is having its first meeting on Thursday, January 18th. If you're looking to meet the coaches and find out about intramurals, be sure to check it. The meeting will start at 1.30 in room 917. See Coach Keith for more details. Attention all female students. There will be a, an interest meeting for any female students interested in participating in archery, gymnastics, and table tennis. The meeting will be in room 200 on Wednesday, January 17th from 1.30 to 1.45. See you there. Attention all boy golfers. There will be an inter informational meeting in room th 323 after school on Thursday, one. January 18th from 1.20 to 1.35 p.m. We are looking for four golfers to represent Spring Valley out on the links. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Coach Tippett in room 323 CU on Thursday. The NFL Wild Card Weekend is over and the divisional round is set. On Saturday, the Houston Texans took on the Cleveland Browns at home and were led to a 45-14 to victory by rookie quarterback C.J. Stroud. Later on Saturday, the fourth coldest ever NFL game was played. The Kansas City Chiefs faced the Miami Dolphins at home and won 26-7 with another top performance from Patrick Mahomes. The Green Bay Packers cruised to the divisional round with a 48-32 win over the Dallas Cowboys. In Dallas, the Detroit Lions had a close game with the LA Rams but were able to win 23-24. On MLK Day, the Buffalo Bills completely demolished the Steelers 17-31, a game where the the fans were having snowball fights. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers were, were able to easily beat the Eagles 9-32. The divisional round will be played this weekend. Grizzlies, over the past two weeks, there has, have been, has been a lot of different kinds of news in the college football scene. And as the season just recently concluded, one of the most prolific and historic, historic co coaches, Coach Nick Saban, has retired from coaching. After having a long career coaching program at, such as LSU and Alabama, he is widely regarded as one of the best college football coaches of all time, winning six national championships with Alabama and one with LSU. He finished out with his career with 271 career wins and only 71 losses throughout his lengthy 17-year career. Hey Cooper, what's the weather? Well, Grizzlies, today 
It's going to be partially cloudy with a high of 61 and a low of 39. Then on Thursday, it starts being mostly cloudy with a high of 62 and a low of 40. Then on Friday, it's again mostly cloudy with a high of 60 and a low of 43. And then again, it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 63 and a low of 45. So be prepared for these low temperatures this week, Grizzlies. Hey, Grizz. Hey, hey, Grizzlies, did you know that the annual Chinese New Year is coming up soon? The Chinese New Year is an annual 15-day festival in China that begins with the new moon that occurs sometime between January 21st and February 20th. The festivals last until the full moon. The animal for this year is the, Akina, is the iconic dragon, which symbolizes power, prosperity, good fortune, honor, and success. It's generally agreed to be the most famous of all animals representing the New Year. Much like the American celebration of New Year's, the Chinese New Year is supposed to give you a clean slate for the New Year, celebrated with fireworks. So, go out there, Grizzlies, and have fun. Hey, Aubrey, where can I get some cookies around campus? Chocolates are back. Our Skills USA students are selling chocolate-covered pretzels and chocolate chair chocolates. They'll be carrying the boxes around campus to look for them, or stop by Ms. Kersel's room, room 225, and buy them here. Thank you for helping our students get to the state competition through your support. Good Ice will be coming by this Friday, January 19th, after school. They'll be selling right outside with classic, king, and color changing sizes. You will have a variety of flavors to choose from, such as blue raspberry, Caribbean cherry, lavender lemonade, and many more. They will take either cash card or Apple Pay. Be sure to check them out this Friday. Attention Grizzlies, there will be a new food truck on campus during both lunches every Friday. Food Therapy LV sells garlic noodles or bon mai fries with the choice of beef and chicken for $10. There will also be a free egg roll for every purchase. Make Fridays extra special by grabbing their delicious lunch near the portables. Your taste buds and the senior class will thank you. It may be 30 degrees outside right now, but hotels are already thinking about summer months. MGM Resorts are looking for CCSD students to check to work as lifeguards at their hotels and offering elective credits and other perks like paying for college tuition, discounts on shows and att attractions, and many more. Pay starts at $15 an hour and you can scan the QR code to start your application process. This was Aubrey Fares. and Emma of, and the, of the, the Grizzly News Network. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Grizzlies. Grizzlies.